Hey guys, welcome to Epic Coding for Everyone channel. What will you learn from this video? Variable, variable rules, var, let, and calls. Let's start coding. We will talk about variables in this tutorial. Variables are fundamental concept in any programming languages, including JavaScript. We store temporary data in variables. Let me comment it out that one. Let's declare our first variable. Let my first variable. We need to use that when we declare a variable. We can also use var. But var is old version. So ES6 version is required in using let. So you can use var but you will have some problems. So I advise you to use let. Let's talk about the name of our variable. There are some rules we should consider before creating a variable name. For example, you can't start your variable with number. Let's say let to my first variable. You can't create sort of variable. And we see a red underline under our variable. And our variable case sensitive. For example, let me copy that one and paste it here. Let's change one of our character. Let's make it lowercase character. So that variable is not equal to that variable. Both of them completely different variables because variables name in JavaScript are case sensitive. Let me comment it out that one too. Let me copy and paste one more time. You can't use space or hyphen middle of your variable. For example, you can't put space here or you can't put hyphen here. Let me comment it out that one too. The last rule is about reserved keywords. For example, let is one of reserved keywords, so you cannot use the let as a variable. Let me create another file and put reserved keys in it. Press txt and let test it. See guys, you cannot use all those keywords as a variable name. Let's save it. You don't need to memorize all that words because if you use it, you will have an error message on your console. Let's close that section and get back our script.js file. Let's have a look at our variable name one more time. As you notice guys, I use a lowercase letter when I start my variable and then my second word is starting with uppercase. That is a most common usage. I advise you to use like this. And then also using a meaningful variable name, very important. For example, if I say let A or let's say let B and then do some other things and using that variables in my project. But when I look at my codes later, I will struggle to understand what I was doing with that variables. So using meaningful variables name is very important. It is also help our colleagues to understand what we do in our project when they look at our code. Let me delete them. Let's type our console log and my first variable and semicolon. As you notice guys, we should terminate with semicolon. We terminated our variable with semicolon too. Let's save and check our browser. You see guys, we see undefined message. Because undefined is a default value of all variables in JavaScript, we haven't assigned any value for our variable. So that's why we see undefined value. Let's add a value for our variable. We just need to put equal then our value. Let's say epic coding for everyone. It is a string value. String is screens of characters. By the way, as you notice, I use single code. Can also use double code so it is depend on you but single code is most common usage in javascript let me make it wider for you guys 
Let's save it and have a look at our browser. You see guys, we see our message. And if you want, I can change my variable value after declaring our variable. Let's say my first variable equal, let's say hello. And semicolon and save it. And let's check it. You see guys, we see our latest value of our variable. Let's use const instead of let and save it. Let's have a look at our browser. You see guys, we see a error message because we are trying to change our variable. The difference between const and let is about reassigning value to variable. So if we use const, it means you can't assign any other value after declaring your variable. Let me comment it out that one. Save it and let's have a look at it. You see guys, we see our message. So that's the difference between let and const. Usage of const or let depends on the project. If you want to create a variable which you don't want to change value of that variable, you should use const, but if you think you might change the variable in future, so you can consider to use let. It is depend on your project. Let me comment it out that things and that one. Let's create more than one variable in single line. Let let's say city and country. So we have two variables. You can create that variables in single line like this. And then you can assign value to, let's say, London. And then country, let's say, UK. But creating variables separately is better and most common use. So you can create like this instead of creating in single line. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next video.